It has cost America $451 billion on illegal immigrant, illegal immigrant care, the meals, the laundry, the, the shelter. It's expensive. And here is another quote of another dad who they went to this shelter. He wasn't happy. He says they're going to take us back to the train so we can go back to 45th Street. We don't we didn't know we were coming here, I guess, to the shelter. He means they just said that they were taking us to a shelter. I cannot stay here. This is crazy. I read another article in Daily Mail and it says the family was renting an apartment through a city voucher program in Chicago. It gave them fifteen thousand dollars for up to six months for right. rental assistance. Wouldn't it be nice if, mm -hmm. if everyone got that? Yeah. Uh, it says. But once it ran out, they had to give up their living space. The dad found a job in construction. He was getting paid in cash, right. but it wasn't enough to sustain his family since they arrived in June. June. Five months, no end in sight, and they're heading back to Venezuela. That, that's why the president's plan is to basically, the former president's plan is to get all of them together, put them in fields, and just evaluate all of them individually, mm -hmm. and have massively deportation. Well, there's and then in the beginning, that would be crazy, but the more people are, the more you see how much money it's cost, how unhappy they are, and how unhappy they are, and we're happy, unhappy that they're here illegally, why don't we just do that? Why well, don't you also just do the a do Go back. It's, it's not just the typical Republicans that are for you know, safe borders, uh, a legal process to, for this to happen. It's the Democrats in Chicago. Do you see all all the black residents in Chicago that are in the faces of the elected officials? You stop saying, the sanctuary city. Like, can, can you guys do something for us? We don't have right. time for this. Well, and we don't have time to really go into it, but in the Mile High City of Denver, Apparently, there is a chicken pox outbreak, and it's because there are all these unvaccinated oh people coming gosh. into the country. And so uh, some of the kids at the shelters are getting chicken pox, and then they have to quarantine the kids right. away from everybody else. It's because when you come into this country, you're supposed to have your vaccines, uh, but all they do is a health check. Are you okay right now? Fine. Come on in. Wait a minute. So many Steve. people don't have so many vaccines. They didn't check to make sure they were vaccinated. No, you don't have to. They didn't. They never did. You, you have to be, but they don't. They don't check. You know, they say, have you had your vaccines? I'm not going to ask that because I know nobody's had them. Right. And it, it, I've got a friend uh, in healthcare, and there are so many uh, diseases that are ricocheting around the shelters and around the hospitals here in the New York City area that nobody's seen in decades, for right. a very long time. Think about this, if you, 2016, everyone's like, how could you be so cruel with sanctuary cities? That, how, Mr. President, don't you don't remember the huddled masses on the, on, the, on the base of the Statue of Liberty? 2024, I think everyone is on board with Trump's, this is out of control. Yeah. And if you have chicken pox you're watching in Denver, witch hazel. It takes the edge off, right? Oh, my gosh. It, it's, it's oh, easy no, they came out with a vaccine after we grew up. Right. So we all right. had chicken pox. Right. Do you remember that? Yeah, that was, was not terrible. fun.